How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been really busy with work and, and getting done with school. Now I'm done. So I'll be on break for a while now for three, two or three months and then I'll be back at school. But um, just want to get you guys some updates on the 67. The motor's done. Um, it's painted. I really didn't get to film uh, when my dad put the heads on it. I was gone and busy at the time. So he wanted to play together and paint it, paint it, so he did that. As for the car, uh, the body is looking a lot better than what it was before, that's for sure. And and I'll put I'll put pictures in, in this video so you can see what it's looking like. It's not quite done yet. Hopefully we'll have it done the next uh, week or two so we can finally put it back together. But in today's video, I have found an issue with my Camaro. I, a couple days ago, I... Took when actually went on a rip with my buddies. Uh, they haven't uh, been had a ride in the car yet, so I took them for a ride in the car. And after I made a pull, there's nothing funny. I just drove it home, one not, and parked it after that a couple days. And then I tried to turn it on yesterday, and it would just not idle. It just it would idle and then die, and then start and then die. And I thought, okay, it's probably the ethanol because there was only ethanol in there. So I kept doing it, kept doing it. This may be the issue, it may not be, but let me let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So everything looks fine, of course, from out here, but as soon as you get closer, hopefully, may, I maybe have some lights so I can show you guys. The valve cover, I don't know if you can see it in there. I'll have to just attach, oh, you can see it a little bit right here. If you look at the uh, valve cover gasket, it's like out on there. But I'm going to have to tear apart the uh, valve cover and replace it, I guess. I guess that's the only thing I can really do. Uh, I'm hoping I don't find anything funny underneath there. Uh, there shouldn't be anything funny. The car's been running really good, so I'm going to have to tear this apart and put it back together and hopefully... I don't have any issues with it. So before I get started, this, I gotta make sure I have all the right tools. It's just Allen screws, really, or an Allen wrench to take this all off. Um, just wanna make sure you know that you have these plug wires before I do so. Kind of pain in the back over here, but I may be able to do it. I may have to get a ratchet to get that last one off, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm actually gonna need a match for this side too. I don't even, I don't even want to strip it, so. Feels a little like that, it's alright. Just that last one. So I left it loose. Um, I know, I see why I left it loose because I painted the back here. I've got to take it off completely. There's just no room back here. The passenger side is the worst of it. I'm glad it happened. If it happened, I'm glad it happened on this side, not the other side, so. The only problem I have is taking off the sensor there. It came my way. There's that. Put this over here, actually. And this thing is tore up right in half. Look at that. Well, that's trash. But that thing in here looks clean. I'm trying to see if the rockers are touching anywhere in here, which I don't think they are, thankfully. Pretty good in here. Really can't see too well. There we go. Let's see if there's anything else that's funny here. Normally it's good to always check. Well, there wasn't much to that other than the fact that this tore in half. I actually have one. I may actually have one in the shop. 
I'll have to go check. Seats for the Camaro. Nothing too pretty, just all black. Nothing too pretty. But let's see, I may have some here. Oh, I do. In blue, though. In blue. I don't know. I may have another pair in black. I may have to look for a pair in black. I don't know if I like the blue. But then again, it's not being seen, so... I don't know. I'll think about it. So I'm going to look for that gasket. I know I have a black one there. I'm probably going to use the ones from my stock valve covers when that came with the car. So I think we'll be all right. That's basically it, guys. There's not, not much more I can really show or tell you guys. Um, yeah. Hopefully I don't have this issue again. I did not really like the way they were made, but I mean, they're stock, so... I don't know. It is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you watch this far, I really appreciate it. Um, please like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'm going to try to keep uploading for you guys. I'm going to get some more updates for you guys on that 67. It's been slow. The guy that does the body work, he's been lagging on us. and It's kind of the way he is. We, kinda, we try to be as patient as we can. And we know we're kind of on a time frame because the owner keeps messaging my dad, telling him, like, hey... When you get the car done, when you get the car done, give me some updates. And there's not too many updates we can really give now. Other than the fact that we're just waiting on the car. But yeah, guys, like I said, keep watching. I'm going to keep you guys updated. And thanks again. We'll see you guys. Wait, before I go, one more time. Um, I'm going to be at the Dinuba Car Show June 8th. June 8th, I believe is what it is. Let me check my phone real quick. Yeah, it should be the 8th. Um, I'm entering the car. I, that's why I did the whole polish, ceramic, and all that good stuff to the car because I really wanted to put it in the car show. This weekend, the 31st to the 1st, I'm going to the Pismo Car Show. It's one of the biggest car shows, I think, in California because of the amount of cars that are there. And not only that, but it's at Pismo Beach. So I'll be there. Uh, hopefully, I see you guys. If you guys are there, let me know. And yeah, man, like I said, we'll see you guys on the next one.